Well, welcome BCERT. This video is to describe and show you um, your latest trauma bag. This is gonna be one of two. I'll be making an identical one up after. Actually, I'm already starting to make up the number two bag, so it's starting to come. So number, wag, number one bag is finished. Um, weighing in at eight kilos, which I think is not too bad for how much stuff's in it. And it's nice and compact, easy to carry. Um, so let's get on with it. Okay, so this is your new bag. It's it's a Contera flight line. It's a quite a slim bag. Um, these bags could often use on helicopters because they're so because they're so slim and compact, and you're able to get so much stuff out of them because people like love working out of them. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna have a look at this bag step by step so we see what's in it. All right, so I've designed this bag. Um, so all the things that you need first, um, you can get to it really quick. So you see, you've got stuff here in the middle. You've got, you've got. I don't know if you can see it. You've got a pocket on the on the bottom. So how do we know which is the top and which is the bottom? All right, so. You see the Conterra, the Conterra emblem going up. That's the top. Okay. So let's have a see. Let's have a look and see what's in what's in the top here. Okay. So in the top we have, if you remember, if you remember all your um, your um, action plans. One of the things for professionals we have our we have, of course, our, our D, R, A, B, C, D, and, and all that stuff. But also somewhere there we have, when we deal with trauma, um, we have to think about um, catastrophic bleeding. So, catastrophic bleeding. This is that package here. So, we've got a few things in here that are incredibly important. And we've got one there, one there. Okay, so in this bag, we've got um, two things of compressed rolled gauze. There'll be a separate video in relation to um, what you do with this. You have um, two combat tourniquets. There'll also be a separate, a separate um, video on how we deal with that. And we also have two blast bandages. These are really, really awesome. And this is an, again another another item that we're going to have to have a um, an entire um, video on, so you guys know how know how it works. All right. So before I put all this stuff away, let's open it up the other side of the bag. Okay, so the other side of the bag, we call the, I call this like kind of like our, our PPE side. So, so our personal protection side. Okay, so in this side you have obviously safety glasses. You got alcohol wash for your hands. You have a sharpie, so a permanent marker. Our EMTs will tell you what you can do with that. Normal pen, notebook. I don't like the notebook too bad, too much, so we'll probably get a different one. And then we have one, two, three, three sets of gloves. So we have small, large, and medium gloves, four pairs. We also have two emesis or vomit bags. They can also be used for like uh, rubbish and things like that. You also have some masks. You have your trauma shears and a small trauma shears for doing dressings. You have a hazmat bag here for bloody dressings and things like that to keep them safe. And lastly, you have an emergency Petzl headlamp, uh, which is actually very cool. And you'll get, you'll get another, another, a, um, another um, video just on that because that's quite, that's quite cool too. So, so that's all that's in that pocket. Okay, so now we open her up. 
And in the middle, you have two collars. You have, of course, an adult collar and a pediatric collar, which is pink. That's how you know pink strip is for pediatric, white strip is for adult. So you've got those two sit in the middle. So if you didn't need those in trauma, you take those off and just put them aside for now. Okay? All right. All right, so now that give me two seconds. Let me repack the, um, the top and the bottom pockets, and then we'll get into the side pockets and see what's in there. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, back to the bag. All right, so where'd we leave off? We le left off to it open, okay? So, the bag is now open. This is the bottom. This is the top, okay? So, we've talk talked about PPE at the bottom, and at the top is major hemorrhage control. Uh, other words, bleeding control. All right, so bleeding is such an important thing with major and minor trauma. So the right bag, right pocket is also filled with more goodies. So in here you can see we've got some combine dressings here, which are very, 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 very important. So there's about four of them there. We've got more compressed gauze, more compressed gauze here, which is really important. We've got some wound dressings, wound dressings here, there's two of them, and we've got some saline for irrigation and some 4x4s for cleaning the wound, and again, we've got some gauze rolls. And finally, we have two of my most favorite um, type of dressings, and these are Olas's Modular um, dressings. Now these things are freaking amazing. Uh, we'll do do a separate video just on these because they do so much, but it's really, really amazing. Every 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 trauma pack should have one of these uh, or a couple of these. They're, they're really amazing. All right, so that is the right side of the pack. Okay, so let's go over to the left side of the pack. And the left side of the pack is where all your diagnostic equipment is. Okay, so you've got in here, you have a stethoscope. Um, you have your blood pressure cuff. Blood pressure cuff in here. You've got your blood sugar glucometer. Have an, um, an, uh, another thermometer here. And you've got a no touch thermometer, which is kind of cool, which I enjoy. I'll be showing you how to use this. And finally, you've got um, your pulse socks in here too. So, oh, and not to forget, uh, you've got your pin light in here as well. I nearly, nearly forgot that. So, if you've, if you've done any um, looking at Mike's little chart there, that's my personal one, not the one I made for you guys, you'll notice that with all your diagnostic equipment you have on there, you're able to do heart rate, respiration rate, BP, SATs, BSL, temperature, pain, and your GCS. So you can do all the main, all the main um, observations for your patient. All right, so that was, right, the right side is more hemorrhage control, and the left side is your diagnostic equipment. All right, so I'll just stop it there for a minute while I repack those bags, and we'll open the big bag and see what's inside. Hi guys, so now we're back again with our Kantara trauma pack. So, now we're gonna have a look um, what's what's inside. So again, that's the bottom, that's the top. Now you notice with this bag, which I really like, it has a two ring double zip um, pull down, which is really, really handy. So you just unzip it here and pull down like that, and you open it up. Very cool, huh? All right, so let's talk, start with the top. In the top big pocket, we have your suction, which is very important. Your EMTs will be able to tell you that. And we have a very, very cool combat um, BVM or bag valve mask. Very, very compact, very, very cool. I won't t take it out because it takes ages to put it back in. But as you can see on the thing there, you can you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so just just put that back in. 
Okay, on the top on the top of your bags, you will find these are all color coded. Now, this the first top is green on the top. This is a green St. John's first egg bag. Now, if you ever think a green, think drugs. So, anytime you see a green bag, um, it's going to be your drugs. So, all your drugs are going to be in here. Now, we're going to talk about get the drugs out on another day and talk about them in particular because that's a, that's a whole different story at the drugs. Okay. And this green bag is going to be going. I actually ordered a green Conterra bag to keep all this the same, but it hasn't arrived yet. Okay, so that's the drugs. All right, so your top one is more respiratory stuff. So it's close to this. So that's all with respiratory. Okay, in this bag here, we have um, very, very important we have two um, chest seals. And these are very, very cool. And again, this is, a, this is another item that I'll, I'll do a short video on um, how these work. These are, these are really, really cool. And we have a complete set of um, OPAs in here as well, down from the small ones all the way down to the big ones. And we also have um, several uh, NPAs that your, um, your EMT students and your nurses should be able to tell you what these are for. And also I'll do a video on that. And lastly in here, we have a, a tube of KY jelly. We use that with the MPAs. Okay, so that's that one. So if we go in here and we look to the right, we have a roll of cling wrap. Wow. Now you're probably wondering what that is for. And I'm gonna do, you'll get a whole um, video instruction on how to deal with the burns and abdominal injuries and just how to use cling, cling wrap because cling wrap is really awesome. So we'll talk about that later. Okay, now we go deeper in the bag and you see we've got a red a red bag and a blue bag. So you pull those ones out and we see in the bottom we have a, you can't see it, you, you've got a universal large dressing. So this is for major, major bleeds and trauma. Okay, so that lives there. And on top of that is a burn dressing, a large burn dressing. So this is basically called a burn sheet. And these are very, very, very amazing as well. So that's where they live. Now, if we go to the bottom of the bag, what do we have there? That's right, we've got two, we have, um, two um, sand splints, but that's not it. That's not only it. This bag is so cool. Look what, if, in a, if you're in a, in a bind and you really, really need another sand splint, have a look at this. Notice here, if you look here on the end at how the bag's made, let's have a look, we can look over here as well. Can you see it? The bag is actually lined with another SAM splint. So you actually have three SAM splints, two that are available immediately and a third one in a, in a real, real emergency if you really need it. Okay, so we've had a look at those. So now lastly, we'll go to the last two, last two bags. Okay, so the red bag, if it's kind of like our environment bag. So if you can think of red, think of burns, hot things or things that are hot. This is basically our burns, our burns, burns bag. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's in this. Okay. Okay. So in here, we have a cold pack. You've, you've probably heard me talk about these a million times, but you've never seen one. And you've got some burn aids dressings, a couple, couple small ones, a um, couple medium ones, and you've got some hydro, hydrogel burn shield, which we'll talk about how to use that as well. Okay, so that's basically that you're kind of your let your um your burns and go to the go to the you go to that you've got a bad burn. Okay, last bag. Okay, this one here is your blue bag. And this one just has a lot of um, odds, and, odds and ends that I think are handy. Um, you got all your triangle bandages in here. So there's four of them in there. 
You've got um, just normal uh, uh, fabric strips or band-aids. You've got um, two, your two things of tape if you need them. More, more um, um, roller bandages. There's um, four more in there. You've got a couple eye patches. And lastly, you've got a couple of emergency blankets or space space blankets. All right, so you've got two of those. Okay. So that's about it. Um, that's this is bag one. Um, it cost about, um, including the drugs and everything, like about eight hundred dollars Australian. Okay. Um, so. Once you guys got this, you'll be um, very prepared for almost anything. As, and you can handle a lot of the medical stuff as well when you see the drugs that we have. And I'll explain that on another video. But anyway, that's your trauma bag with a little bit of medical in it to, to make you guys a lot more handy. And I'm, I'd be like to see if anyone's got a bag in the Philippines better than this, but I'd, I wouldn't think they would. So um, I hope you liked the video. And there'll be more videos to come in relation to how to use the particular dressings um, that I've pointed out that you might not be familiar with. All right, this is Mike from Australia. Peace, peace out.